In this video, I will talk about Coimbra, a stunning city in Portugal and its tourist attractions. Coimbra is situated halfway between Lisbon and Porto and is nestled along the river Mondego. The city is famous for its oldest university, beautiful churches, monasteries, cultural institutions and shopping centers. The population of the municipality is around 143,000 people and it is the largest city in the central region. The city center is divided into two neighborhoods, the lower town and the upper town. The historic heart of the city is situated on Alcasova Hill, also known in the Roman times as Eminium, where visitors can explore medieval convents, cathedrals and museums. Coimbra has a rich royal heritage, with entombed kings and a proud history as the capital of Portugal. The city's steep hills, narrow lanes and parks are best explored on foot. When is the best time of the year to visit Coimbra? Coimbra has a warm summer Mediterranean climate that transitions to a hot summer version, typical of central Portugal. Winter temperatures range between 5 and 7 degrees Celsius at night and 15 to 16 degrees Celsius during the day. Summer temperatures range between 15 to 16 degrees Celsius at night and 28 to 29 degrees Celsius during the day. Precipitation is abundant throughout the year, except for July and August. Despite being distant from the coast, Coimbra's proximity to the Mondego River floodplain gives it a marked Atlantic influence, making winters and summers milder. So spring and early fall are perfect for visiting the city, while the summer can be very hot. Before talking about the tourist attractions of Coimbra, I will present a short history of the city. The city was called Eminium in Roman times. On a hill by the Mondego River, during the reign of Augustus, the Romans established the civitas of Aeminium. In 1409, the Iberian Peninsula was flooded by barbarians and the lower Mondego area recognized Hermeric, the landlord of the Suebi, as its ruler. Atasis, the king of the Alans, depopulated and devastated Coimbra and founded a new city called Colimbria. The Visigoths conquered the region later and the county of Coimbra was created by King Vitiza in the 5th to the 8th century. The first Muslim campaigns that occupied the Iberian Peninsula occurred between 1711 and 1715, with Coimbra capitulating to Musa bin Osair in 1714. The reconquest of the territory by the Christians was attained in 1064 by King Ferdinand I of Leon and Castile. In the 12th century, Afonso Enriquez expanded the county's frontiers and his son consolidated a network of castles. Coimbra was divided into an upper city, where the aristocracy and the clergy lived, and a lower city, with the merchant, artisan and labor centers by the Mondego River, in addition to the old and new Jewish quarters. The city was encircled by a fortified wall, of which some remnants are still visible today, like the Almedina Gate. The city grew around monasteries and convents, including the monastery of Santa Clara Avella, which was founded in the 4th century and later abandoned due to the floods. In the 15th and 16th centuries, during the Age of Discovery, Coimbra was again one of the main artistic centers of Portugal. Since this period, the city life has revolved around a state-run university. The first half of the 19th century was a difficult period for Coimbra, being invaded by French troops during the Peninsular War. A force of 4,000 Portuguese militia managed to recapture the city on the 6th of October 1810. The city recovered in the second half of the 19th century with infrastructure improvements like the telegraph, gaslight, the railway system, a railway bridge over the Mondego River and the renovation of the Portela Bridge in addition to the broadening of roads and expansion of the city into the Quinta de Santa Cruz. On the 1st of January 1911, electric tramways were inaugurated to connect the old quarter with its expanding periphery. And now let's see what are the main tourist attractions of Coimbra. 
The University of Coimbra, established in Lisbon in 1290 and permanently relocated to Coimbra in 1537, is one of the oldest and continuously operating public research universities in the world. It is the oldest in Portugal and has a significant impact on higher education in the Portuguese-speaking world. In 2013, UNESCO declared the university a World Heritage Site, recognizing its distinctive architecture, cultural traditions and historical role. The university includes a vast central library, botanical gardens, sport facilities, an astronomical observatory, a publishing house, a private chapel, a theater, and various support facilities. Here is the famous Jonin Library, a Baroque-style library located in the university, with a magnificent collection of books and stunning decoration. The Biblioteca Joanina is named after its founder, King John V of Portugal, who began construction on the library in 1717, during the onset of the Age of Enlightenment in Europe. It is home to more than 70,000 volumes, including many priceless historical documents and first editions. The botanical gardens of the University of Coimbra are located down the hill from the university. This botanical garden was laid out in 1772 and is considered the fifth oldest in the world. It was used by the university to teach natural history and medicine and has hundreds of rare and exotic plants from around the world. There's also a greenhouse added in 1859, which was one of the first iron and glass buildings in Portugal. Another place for relaxation is Portugal dos Pequenitos, an educational theme park. This thematic park includes miniature replicas that represent the monuments and other elements from the cultural heritage and patrimony in Portugal and world. In Coimbra are some beautiful religious buildings. The old cathedral of Coimbra is a Romanesque Roman Catholic church, constructed some time after the Battle of Orique in 1139, when Prince Afonso Enriquez declared himself King of Portugal and chose Coimbra as capital. The new Cathedral of Coimbra, or the Cathedral of the Holy Name of Jesus, is the current bishopric seat of the city of Coimbra. The church was constructed between 1598 and 1698 in Baroque style. The Monastery of the Holy Cross, founded in 1131, was the most important monastic house during the early days of the Portuguese monarchy. Nothing remains of the early Romanist monastery, but in the first half of the 16th century, the monastery was completely rebuilt and can be admired today. The ruins of Santa Clara Velha Monastery, built in the 14th century, can be seen on the left bank of the Mondego River. The monastery was abandoned in the 17th century due to the frequent floods. The well-preserved Gothic ruins of the monastery were excavated in the late 20th century, more than 300 years after being abandoned by the nuns. The convent of Santa Clara Nova, built between 1649 and 1677, replaced the earlier monastery, which had to be abandoned because of the floods. The new monastery it didn't recreate the Gothic architecture, and it was instead designed in the Baroque style of the time. It was dedicated to Queen Saint Isabel, and the church given a magnificent gold-covered altarpiece. Another interesting attraction is the Almedina Arch, which was the main gateway of the medieval wall. It is said that the older part of the door is from the 9th century. The function of the Almedina Tower, erected over the Almedina Arch, was to protect the main gateway into the city. The most important museum you should visit here is the National Museum Machado de Castro, an art museum named after the famous Portuguese sculptor Joaquim Machado de Castro. It first opened in 1913 and is housed in the former bishop's palace. This palace was built from the Middle Ages onwards, roughly on the site where the Roman Forum of Aeminium once stood. The bulk of the museum's collection is made up of items from churches and religious institutions in the area surrounding Coimbra. The museum is considered the second most important in Portugal.
A very relaxing activity to do while visiting Coimbra is to take a boat ride along the Rio Mondego. It offers a unique and beautiful view of the city's historical buildings and surroundings from the river. It's a different way to experience the city and its charm. I hope you enjoyed our video. If you know other interesting places in Coimbra that I forgot to mention, please write about them in a comment below. And remember that you can help our channel to grow by just pressing the like button and by sharing this video with your friends.